Hello everyone. This is Candy Grand Prix. Targeted individual. It's um Wednesday, October twenty first, two thousand twenty. Eight forty seven AM Central Standard Time. Um so, I did away with the other social media plus my blog, but I was kind of having problems with WordPress formatting and stuff like that anyway, so I don't know if I might put my blogs back up and then go like go to Blogspot or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, I'm kind of scared and shaky right now. And, um, last night I did two videos, but I didn't upload them. And I guess the perks, it's, it's like one, in one way they want to run me off social media or run me off. Even if you're a fake TI perk, you want to run me off social media or, or you want to, um, try to stop me from, filming my evidence or try to guilt trip me, trying to make me feel guilty or like I'm doing something wrong. Um, so when I have phone conversations with some other targeted individuals, you know, family, <clears throat> I mean, they can, t they tell me about their family problems as well as me telling them about mine but sometimes certain target individuals i guess the ones who turn out to be fake the conversation not all of them but some the conversation is like one-sided like they can tell me all about their family but then when i talk about mine they just or or my targeting situation you know <clears throat> they like tune me out and ignore me um so when I talk about any of my family um, situation with my targeting um, people, what they do is it's like they ignore me or they act like as if, oh, I don't want to get involved because it's family. Um, I don't know if they're afraid of being jumped on or, or attacked by my family members um, if they defend me. And there are a few who did. I, I mean... Wait a minute. If a target, if another targeted individual defends me, I mean, I wonder if they're afraid of one of my family members attacking them. So, um, it's like, as I said before, people said that they see the light of. A, well, I don't know if y'all, but y'all have seen my eyes before. <laughs> But, um, I'm sorry, this is not light enough in, um, in here. Um, but y'all, if y'all can look at past videos, um, I've, as I said, I've done wrong in the past, um, because of poor upbringing in the foster care, um, and in a cult and brainwashing and those psychiatric medications and vaccines or whatever to destroy us so and, and and us being taught something one way and then not realizing later on in life that what you did was wrong or what you were taught to do or what you were taught to think or believe is wrong so um now um I found out the truth and try as I said, trying to right my wrongs and um trying to correct my wrongs. And um so I, I don't I don't know if I should just keep doing YouTube videos or you know, keep exposing the perps and stuff. Um but but it's like 
there were a few people on social media, you know, who tried to defend me and my twin sister either brainwashed them that quickly and they sided with her or in her lies or, um, or, um, you know, they got attacked really bad for, um, defending me <clears throat> because you're not going to be, you're not going to try to get somebody locked up in a mental institution and you're not a perp. So stars 15 K took advantage of contacting my twin sister. Now they're like this, like buddy, buddy with each other and conspiring. Um, I mean, my twin sister's now doing like revenge videos full of lies about me. And, um, I, I mean, I haven't looked at the videos, but I saw some of the comments and, um, I don't want to look at the videos because I don't want to get more upset and I don't want to go look back at her page. Um, so I don't want to keep every video talking about my twin sister or other family members or other people who are harassing me. And then, um, <clears throat> I, like if I talk about, I, I mean, just me doing videos, cause I don't want to keep the argument up and then everything just gets, everything is already too embarrassing and shameful. And, um, we were both victims of abuse growing up. So what makes her think she's better than me? And she's been lying to people just to look good and fear being attacked by, like, you know, online attacked. She's been lying to people saying that she does care about me and um, lying to people and saying that she did offer me a place to come, I mean, to come stay by her. She lets her, she lets her lesbian lover, China, run her house. And she, China keeps her isolated. And just wants her away from everybody because China is using her out of her money and has been for years. Just freaking using her. And so, um, and, and then she was, did videos defending the Kraft family against me. Like, like I predicted. I knew she was going to do that. And it's like, not just with her, but people in general. It's like, what's, why do y'all, um, <clears throat> defend why do people defend people? I mean, it's like they idolize and worship and defend and so hardcore fight for people who don't give a shit about them, people who care nothing about them, and people who wouldn't do the same for them. The Kraft family don't care about either one of us. They don't. And she's so hardcore defending them. And, and they'll sit back and just laugh at the situation, laugh at us make fools out of ourselves or each other. And, you know, people tell me, you know, don't feed into that energy. Don't feed into that energy. And um, rise above it. And you know how it goes. When you go get into an argument or a fight with somebody, and then they say, well, don't keep going back and forth with it with them because you know it makes you look just as bad so just rise above it and ignore it and this and that you know so um my youtube is the only thing i got open but as i said um originally i was gonna delete everything because of the fake ti perps i got tired of them saying that i that i um make a fool out of the TI community. What do you care about the TI community? And you're not even real. And you just paid to say that, to stop, to try to silence me. So, um, people tell me that I have a beautiful soul and that they see a light that, that, that they see light in me and that they see the light of a conscience in my eyes and that they can tell that, you know, the reason why I'm so super sensitive, you know, they tell me I wear my heart on my sleeve. And I'm just, you know, hypersensitive, um, a sensitive soul. That's why everything gets to me. Um, but you can't call somebody 
bully and abuse somebody and, and traumatize them further, stars 15K, by saying, you know, candy needs to mature. And, and no, what I need is this. <clears throat> This right here is the medicine that we all need. Not one of us is better than the other. Here's another one. My my Bible. Wow, you can't see that. But um So That's the medicine I've been taking. Plus I take magnesium supplements. But no, they want me to be drugged. And um, so people are like, oh, I don't know if your twin sister, some people be like, oh, I don't know if your twin sister is a perp. And other people be like, your twin sister is one of your handlers. So um, it's like, um, It's like Stars 15K has been bullying and harassing me um, ever since on my other channel um, when I said, wow, it looks like the weather revolves around me. And I think I have some past videos, I think, of um, how when I would sleep outside at night on the streets and then... It will pour down... I mean, if y'all are targeted, I mean... I guess, you know, the satellites or something and the drones or whatever manipulate, excuse me, manipulate the weather to where it just affects you only. And so, um, they manipulate the weather where it would affect you only. And, um, The rain just come pouring down, mainly, like, they'll manufacture, I guess through chemtrails, manufacture some clouds just to come right over you, and then start pouring down rainy, um, to, to try to keep me sleep deprived, and then, after I go run, it's like, I guess at the same time, simultaneously, um, and this will happen just about every night. I think about in the month of July when, on the nights that I was out on the streets. I don't think it was June. It was July after I came back. Or was it? Yeah, I think it was in July after I came back from um, Alabama for those couple of weeks. So my twin sister is not even concerned about who are these random strangers? Who, who are these people harassing my twin sister? Um, but no, she's the freaking defending them. So, her eyes are closed. I mean, I think a lot of, I think she's also blind to the truth. And then, you know, she said, oh, she said in one of her videos, she told Stars 15K, she, she, she said, oh, yeah, as long as she complies, though, and trying to, and then she tried to say, oh, as, she, as long as she get the real support, you can be that real support, that support for me, but you choose to side with the dark side. So, um, I did a, like a little warning video that if I disappear, like they've been planning for months. But anyway, let me get back to my story. So, Stars 15K, um, Stars 15K, when I did a video talking about that she that the that um I did a video talking about how, how it seems like the weather revolves around me because it was one of those days where I had on my poncho and it was raining and so then it stopped raining. I took my poncho off, then it started pouring raining like crazy, and then I'm like and then I put my poncho back on and it stopped and then like and then so I'm like okay it stops. I, I mean I put my poncho back on after it started raining and then it stopped. And then the cycle just repeated. And I'm like, wait a minute, it looks like the weather is revolving around me. So I did a video talking about it because I remember I was coming from my storage or going to or coming from my storage unit that day. And I ate at that Latin restaurant that day. And so then she did like a harassing comment or whatever. 
Um, and it's like she likes to just. I'm the only. If you, if you see her channel, Stars 15K. Other than Brian too, who pe everybody said he's a fake Ti perp. Um. I'm the only targeted individual whose YouTube channel she subscribed to so she can follow on her ass. And she will unsubscribe and resubscribe and unsubscribe and resubscribe on, like, just manipulating and playing games. So what happened was, um, she tried to say, oh, I, I, um, sorry, I didn't realize that, um, she said, I'm sorry, I, I didn't realize that what you were going through and this and that, whatever. So then, I mean, after I had blocked her, of course, for harassing and um, gaslighting me. <clears throat> and then after that, um, I forgot that I still had her blocked. But she probably would have perked me anyway. So she got mad and the harassment got even worse. And, and, well, I mean, I forgot I had her blocked and she, she gave me a cheap ass little $10. And then I think she tried to, like, during that night when they wrongfully and permanently banned me from um, that cold weather shelter in the coldest day of the year, um, I think it was her, I think it was her or somebody else, I don't remember who it was, who um, tried to say, um, I mean, I, I, I wasn't even asking for, like, Oh, yeah, I think I did. Might have asked for, for money for a hotel room for the night or something like that. And, like, nobody helped me. And, um, because it was the coldest night of the year in the early 30s. And I remember the torture and suffering. And I was even sitting in Walmart in the middle of the night. And they say, well, you can't, um, I mean, I say, it's okay if I, and the first thing come out their mouth, you can't sleep here. You, you, you know, they're like, yeah, but you can sit up here, but you better not go to sleep. I'm like, I didn't even ask anything about going to sleep, but okay. Um, so, I mean, um, all they care about is image. Um, so, then I was forced to sit in Wal fake Walmart all night. And... It was still freezing cold in there, and I couldn't try to bundle up or get warm enough. And I don't even, th yeah, because that was my last five or six dollars that I used, I think, at Subway that night. And then, um, Inslee First Baptist Church, y'all go, y'all a church, y'all a church that's going to hell. So, um, then. It's like, um, I think Stars 15K try to act like she was like, I can offer you $10,000 and this, I think just fucking with my head that night or whatever. And I had her blocked and then shortly, a few days later or something, she succeeded at getting my, um, my, um, YouTube account taken down. Oh wait, no, it was before that she got my YouTube channel taken down or somewhere around that time and then bragged about it and um I had this channel that I have now as a backup because you know when, when you um speaking the truth and stuff like that um us targeted individuals sometimes we'll have a backup Twitter backup Instagram backup whatever in case they try to destroy our evidence of um and so sometimes with Instagram, I was posting a lot of the same pictures and stuff as I did on Twitter, or I would post my YouTube video to my to my Twitter. So I mean, you, you know how um, you have to be doing something wrong in order to destroy evidence or try to shut down evidence of somebody speaking the truth. So now everybody's trying to silence me. And so um, Stars 15K when she called me up. And try to make like she oh like she knew she 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 knew she got my YouTube channel shut down and then bragged about it. She some kind of fucking way got my damn phone number, and then called me. She started to text me and then she called me and I said who is this? Cause she talked like just like my twin sister on, through text message and and I, I almost thought it was her or a family member. And then she was talking 
and, she, and it's like her and my twin sister they have a lot of similarities that's why they're clicking together now and so um it's, and the only thing is my twin sister tries to act like a fake gangster thug version of her um so um this stars 15k lady she um Try to be like, oh, well, after she shut my YouTube channel down and then bragged and smeared it in my face. And then she tried to say, oh, I haven't seen seen you on um YouTube anymore uh, after my channel was completely shut down. And she said, I haven't heard from you on, on I don't hear from you on YouTube anymore. Um, You have suicidal ideation. And I, I wasn't even threatening suicide or, or none of that, not even close. But she's like, I, um, let, I'm doing just doing a welfare check. And you have suicidal ideation and it's that I'm like, shut the like shut the fuck up, you perp. And I didn't realize it was her until later on. But I have screenshots. I don't know how to record um phone conversations, but I have screenshots of her um I have screenshots of her 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 um texting me. I have to go find them. But I just came across them the other day. So she can lie and say she's not a perp all she wants. And it's like these fake T.I. perps and perp perps. It seems like they're so heavily investing their time into worshiping us. Um, so they had this fake T.I. perp who I just had to block her because she's like, oh, you can't tear down other people who, who are in the same situation as you. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Um... So, I don't try to tear down other targeted individuals or try to tear down, you know, other homeless who are in my situation. But if you're perping me or if you're a fake T.I. perp, I call you out. So, um, a lot of people say that they appreciate me being authentic, raw, they, like authentic, raw, and real. And... and I appreciate when people say that you're one of the realest ones on YouTube. And some a few people say you not many, but a few people say Candy, you like the only one who keeps my day going or you're the only one whose videos I watch. But a lot of other people be acting like, Oh, she crazy, she on some bullshit and like how you gonna say that about me? And you, you, you know, I said, how, how you gonna say that about me? And um, and 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 you're targeted too. Like, if you're targeted too, you don't, you shouldn't be telling people, oh, you need to be locked up in a mental institution, or 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 you know, or you're not mentally stable, or you're not meant. Well, okay, well, you're a fake T.I. perp. And, and then that person tried to say, well, oh, no, well, the, well, the nose aren't real T.I.s, but then you start to talk kind of like like a perp, you know, so, some people come on my channel and say some just confusing, weird stuff, um, and, and I'm, I'd be hating to have to block them for, you know, just coming on my channel and saying some just weird, um, stuff, you know, um, so, I don't want to keep I don't want to turn y'all off. I mean, people already are not. And, and, you know, me being frustrated because it seems like nobody's listening to me and everybody's ignoring me. And it's like I feel like a dummy that I keep talking and nobody wants to listen to me. But, you know, other, I think we all should support each other. I know um, things can't be, like, equal, equal. But, I mean, at least put effort. And to be, and I, I just got frustrated with the so-called TI community. And you know, some people are like, no, don't stop doing your videos. That's what they want. Or no, don't de de delete your social media. That's what you want. I mean, I mean, that's what they want. Um, or they want to keep you isolated. They want you to be quiet. But then the other half of people say that the more you keep, yeah, it's like. Me filming their harassment is feeding into them. And the same people would be like, no, don't stop. Don't stop your videos. That's what they want. But then those are the same people who say, the more you keep feeding them your energy, 
the more or, or the more you're giving to them, the more they're gonna keep harassing you. That's uh, other targeted individuals said that they oh we've tried to ignore. When we ignore, they they try they try other you know the electronic harassment gets worse. When you I guess when you ignore their gang street gang stalking or whatever. But it's like. When pe I guess when your family members sell out, they're not gonna say, "Well, yeah, we we sold our soul to the, to the devil. We're, we're gang stalkers now, or we're sent to watch you." Or, um, because how is it? Some of my family members act like as if if I'm in Los Angeles and they're in Lake Charles, Louisiana, or New Orleans, or Milwaukee, or whatever. And I'm on the phone with them. It's like, how can you tell me what I did, what I did the day before, Mark? If you in uh Dallas Fort Worth area, I'm here in Pensacola. How do you know what I ate last night for dinner if I didn't tell you? And I thought, I mean, I I thought it was just witchcraft and stuff, but I didn't realize it's gang stalking too. Um, Mark. And my twin sister and the other sister, Ramona, they act like as if they think they're my handlers. I don't even know. Because um, Mark would be the type of person who would encourage somebody, yeah, you make sure you keep a close watch on. Well, why if you don't care about me? And you don't even know me that well. We may be my brother and sister, but you don't know me like that. Other family members, y'all don't know me like that. So, um, it's like, we all know that, you know, our family members even sell us out. And so, you know, and, and family members, you know, when, when they're abusing or purping me or whatever, it crushes me the most. And, you know, I don't want to keep going back and forth, you know, about my twin sister. And then I don't, you know, want to turn y'all off or anything like that and I need to vent I need to vent and as I said it was be so happened to be just before my twin sister tried to subscribe to my channel and started bullying me and then followed me to my Twitter like stars 15k would do and now they're networking together and if you, I mean you don't, if you really love somebody, you would offer them support and stuff like that. If you feel like I'm mentally fragile or unstable, all it need, all, all you need is offering um, help and support and kindness and love and just listen to, to somebody vent out their pain. But nah, oh, she needs to be locked up like right now and... This and that, whatever. Get help now. Help. Um, poison and destruction is not help. So my twin sister thinks I'm a p crazy fool for saying that um, demons are in pills. Um, I've done my research. The, the very same research that you want me to stop doing because I'm a threat to your agenda and everybody else, uh, any other Masonic, Satanic, evil, wicked person. I'm glad I got out the cult and find found out the truth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take from my other channel and uh, upload that video about the IDMR cult being participating in gang stalking. So, um, I'm going to put up the the warning video, too, about, you know, if I disappear or anything happens, y'all don't hear from me for a while. <sighs> Excuse me. Anybody who works to try to get me locked up in a mental institution, if I die in a mental institution, y'all got blood on y'all hands. And you will have to answer to your creator. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, not fake Henry Kenley or fake Yahweh or whatever. Um, 
So, fighting our unwanted intrusive thoughts. I wish people can see, if people can see the system for the for what it really is, we can stop attacking each other and hating each other. You, you know, but as I said, the, um, the, you, you know, me feeling ignored when I'm trying to get the truth out and everybody else deserves recognition. I'm not trying to do this for recognition, but I'm just saying, you know, everybody else doing this and getting recognition. But not, I'm not the only one because there are some other tar legit targeted individuals who feel ignored and just want our voices heard. You know, and we want these crimes against humanity to stop. Brandy, I know you're watching my videos. So, I'm going to post that link again. Read it. But I bet you're, you're not going to. You will be shocked. Because if you or any other family member... Okay, are okay that I'm put on a terrorist watch list. Blame Adrian Felder in that foster care system. That's the root at there. The foster care system. Wow, they um hit me in the energy, hit me in the chest, my heart with the energy weapons. Um, they want me to be quiet. Ouch. This is real. They want me to be quiet. They want me to be quiet. Ow. That's the police. I mean, some people say the police, a lot of the police, the fraternal, the Masonic Fraternal Order of Police is doing this. Ow. It happened when I was talking to another targeted individual the other night. Me and him were talking on the phone and they were attacking him in the chest so hard. Seemed like they, oh, seemed like they make you almost feel like you're having a heart attack. And then when you go to the, um, <clears throat> another targeted individual had told me too that, you know, by the time the ambulance get here, when they're attacking you with the energy weapons, and then, so I've been, even in 2001, I knew. I mean, I didn't know then, but I know now, oh, I'm targeted. Because if you go to the targeted justice website, ref that if you have targeted individuals are refused medical help. So <clears throat> targeted, we targeted individuals are being slowly and covertly murdered. Murdered. They're killing us. Is it just what you want for your twin sister or your sister, your cousin, um, your children, your parents? I don't even know if the biological mom, Frances, um, it seemed like she was heavily targeted. Because if you have kids and they're trying to make you out to be, and I, I wish I knew the truth then. And I try to reconcile with the biological mom, Frances, and try to, um, like before her death, and try to get the truth out to her and be like, Mom, I'm, I'm so sorry. I disrespected you. The foster mom put stuff in our head and brainwashed us against the biological family. And I didn't know. I was too young and didn't. They kept us blinded from the truth. I'm not helping anybody, but. Oh, I'm not helping anybody. But. There are some people who are former foster children and can come look at my videos and wake up and be like, this is the agenda right here. They drug us to silence us from and try to blind us and kill us spiritually. Yes. Excuse me. Sorcery. Pharmaceutical drugs. Sorcery. Not just like medication. Because a medicine used for pain. Um, a medication that's used for pain, um, can have 
can make you mental. It's like, and y'all know about the big pharma drug conspiracy. You know, they just come and inject us with more poison. Um, we eat. I mean, they, they, they. I'm trying what I could um, to eat better. I mean, this morning I had the last of the granola bars, and I had um, some pomegranate arrows. I guess you call it the little seeds and pomegranates. I had some pomegranate and uh, granola bars, but those weren't the right granola bars. But, you know, there was this disaster food. I still got some food left over, canned food left over um, from when we thought we were preparing for Hurricane Delta. I'm sorry if I'm jumping all over the place. Because, um, so, I mean... So, um, and, and, and some people, like a lot of us targeted individuals like to, um, talk about the scripture where Jesus said, forgive them father for they know what, for they know not what they do. But then some targeted indiv individuals said with the gang stalkers, well, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, so if I'm guilty of harming children and you have proof and evidence why am i not like why am i not like like the why y'all just going by hearsay you know i mean if my twin sister saying i harmed her kids or whatever it was during a time where we were able to have cell phones and phones with cameras and stuff and you know it seemed like she would use this as a um, bullying tactic. And the foster mom and the foster sister Shelly did too. Just use it as a bullying tactic. Because why the foster mom, Adrian Felder, I know for a fact I never even, you know, even crossed my mind to do anything to those foster boys. And the foster mom in 2006, if I would have done something to Nick, the foster boy, Nick, Richard, or any of the, those other foster kids that came through there, um, something would have been done with me. So to try to threaten me into silence because of speaking the truth about my own abuse of what you're doing to me and your narcissistic abuse and manipulation, <clears throat> why do you wait till months after the foster boys leave? To use it against me and throw it in my face and say, oh yeah, the foster, if they put that stuff in, in, because Nick probably would have been like, yeah, yeah, because Nick, um, y you know, if Nick kind of was, I think Nick was eight, but he had the size of an 11 year old, um, but he talked like he was like two years old and had a, mindset like he was two years old that see that's eugenics right there <clears throat> um so if the if nick did say that which i don't think he did the foster mom and then probably put stuff in his head and brainwashing or maybe the foster mom herself was probably molesting nick and then blame it on me you know how narcissistic abusers how they do so um a lot of hell she got all those different boys those why she got so many boys and she got so many um, ch foster children for money and narcissistic supply. And then they act like they, they front like they're, they're better than perfect. But then behind closed doors, the, 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 the secret, the things they do in secret will shock you. So, um, the, yeah, the things that they do in secret will shock you. So if I really did do something to Nick or whatever or Richard or whoever... Why does she wait till months after I leave and then wait till during the argument to use that against me and throw it in my face for something I know I didn't do? So I've been on a, I've been on the watch list. Um, I was freshly 18 and she falsely accused me of sexually wanting the foster boy, Kenneth, who was 13. So I'm like, wow, I, could, I, I couldn't even be 18 long enough and you false, you know, trying to falsely accuse me of being a pedophile and stuff like that it was probably you because you're the one got all these boys for um, narcissistic supply and money more money um after we turned 18 she started to copy off the foster the foster aunt mickey 
for getting nothing but boys. Um, Because all Mickey had was boys, no girls. Because my twin sister knows some doggone secrets. But she's afraid. And, like, she told me that the foster, like, the foster mom's cousins told her that, um, that the foster mom Anne tried to kill her firstborn Shelly when Shelly was little. And that's why Shelly had a gash in her forehead. And she also told me that, um, Mickey kept giving this foster, one of her first foster children, this, nah, which I didn't even know about that, that Mickey, it must have been before we were born, but, um, Mickey, um, we kept giving this foster girl medicine and that, um, the doctor said to stop. And then the, um, my twin sister was telling me that, that the foster mom's cousins told her this and, and that, um, the girl was taking the medicine and, and that the doctors told Mickey to stop and Mickey didn't stop and Mickey still kept giving her the medicine and then the medicine and that's how e Mickey is fucking evil and, and 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 so um so the the girl had died because Mickey kept giving her that medicine my twin sister also told me that Mickey was the nurse that night at the hospital when the foster dad Al died I think the I think the foster dad Al probably was a targeted individual and was a ritual sacrifice. I mean, and Brandy's all in denial about all these phone conversations. I don't remember everything, but um, it's like even Mark and Wyatt were talking about certain secrets with the foster dad Al. And they didn't want me in on it. I mean, they know the secrets and they talk about it amongst each other. And keep a secret from me. And then on purpose, Ramona, at, at Ramona's house in 2018, um, when Mark and Wyatt came, came to visit and they were talking about Al. And I was trying to, um, you know, because I lived with them, with Al, you know, growing up. And so when I chimed in on a conversation, Ramona had distracted like strategically distracted me on purpose with a deceitful looking smile on her face like as if they can talk about al but i can't um or I, i'm not allowed in that discussion because it's like they all got their masonic satanic secrets um foster and biological family involved in voodoo witchcraft I don't know much of any voodoo or don't even know their rituals and do, neither do I care to know. So, um, <clears throat> I don't even care to know because I'm trying to, um, how do I say this? Trying to purify my heart and my soul. And cleanse myself spiritually with the word of God um, to try and try to undo my past wrongs and sins and um, I, I do need to pray more often um, sometimes I'll be just feeling too and I know it's no excuse but I'll be feeling like as if God would ignore and hate me like everybody else but I mean that's the devil lying to me so um, I know I, I mean, I read the Bible even last night, um, and trying to push myself. I mean, I read Psalms 92 through 101 last night. Um, so I'm, you know, trying to push it and, um, almost the whole, well, not the whole book, but a lot of, so much stuff in Psalms relates to us being targeted individuals and the enemy trying to attack. Your enemies trying to attack and take you down and destroy you for no reason at all. Um, I'm, I'm just venting and, and trying to, you know, process 
you know, you know, um, I'm so, I'm glad I was able to sleep good last night, but they vibrated me again last night. <clears throat> and and they have some perps who might be targeted and don't even realize that they're targeted too. Some people say that people are mind controlled into perping. I don't go with that. Um, I wish people stopped spreading those lies and dif disinformation that they try to say, oh, nobody's following you around or gang stalking you or hitting you with energy weapons, but it's just artificial intelligence making you think that. You're a, di you're a fake TI perp disinformation agent. People need to stop listening to y'all. So, um, I know my gang stalking is real. And so if somebody drive by, I, I mean, yes, th this is, um, a murder that see they um attacking my head right here like putting pressure on my in the same area I talked about the other day right here so and they're trying to force diarrhea me to try to get me to quit talking um some people say no don't quit keep talking so <clears throat> Um, and I'm sorry if I sound repetitive or if I, you know, seem like as if, I mean, I get easily distracted. Um, but I was saying, I forgot to finish talking about, you know, the stories about when I was sleep down, I mean, sleep on, on a, on a, you know, outside at night and then it start to rain and then. I go use the bathroom and then the rain stop. And then I go back to that spot and then the rain starts back up again. And it's like, wow, these bastards really don't want me to sleep at all. And so that if I'm days of sleep deprived and my eyes look like, you know, like I'm on drugs or something. And then, um, they use the noise campaign and the street theater and all this crazy stuff. And um, then if I go sit in public place, a uh, bit of business or something, and then they have, when you're sleep deprived, this thing called micro sleeps where you might doze off for a few seconds and like you might like have, the, I think they call it hypnic jerk. Like, um, with your head jerk back or you, your head jerk. And they say it's dangerous because you can get whiplash. So stars 15 K you a murderer. You are a murderer. Alex Dupree, you a murderer. You I already know you're the true pedophile. Um, see that that's what they do when you try to get evidence or whatever. They wait till your cell phone battery is very low or dead. Or when you don't have your phone with you, or they do something so quick that damn, like and then, or they might do be doing a perp might be doing something dirty, and they use energy weapons or they use an app on their phone to freeze your phone while you. And it's like fr freeze your phone when you're trying to get when you're trying to film or record what they're doing, and they freeze because they know they're wrong, and 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 they 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 freeze your phone so that you can't. And then after they done doing what they do, then um, you you can't get the evidence like that. But they do so much so 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 often that it's a blessing that I was able to catch some of their things that that they do. You know, and some of them are just bold and in your face and don't give a damn about the cameras. And um, some of these gang stalkers are already rich. Some of them are poor, but I, I mean, I'm still have a lot to learn. Still, there's still some stuff I don't know. So, um, maybe Myron May didn't have anybody. Sandra Bland probably didn't have anybody. Kanika Jenkins and my twin sister. I mean, she's all about Kanika Jenkins, this and that. I'm telling you. I'm a targeted individual. Kanika Jenkins, they say, was a targeted individual. Aaliyah Houghton 
was a targeted individual. Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston, a lot of these celebrities, some of them are perps, but some of them are targeted individuals. Whore Beyonce is a fucking gang stalker. Um, Aaliyah was a targeted individual. And um, Amy Winehouse was a targeted individual. I bet you, because they, they knew secrets. They knew the truth. Tupac, definitely. Oh, Tupac. One of the biggest T.I.'s. Tupac. Nipsey. Um. Oh, man. Who, the, the lady who called, was it Joan Rivers who called um Michelle Obama, Manchelle Obama or something? Oh, uh, I think that's her name. Exposed Michelle Obama for being a man and then next you know she turned up dead. The foster mom had been trying to have me dead since my teenage years. No way in fucking hell are you going to just walk up to a 13-year-old child and say, you're going to wind up dead. For no reason at all, you're going to wind up dead. And then just walk off while I'm eating cereal. And I'm like, for breakfast, and I'm like, what did I do? And she did that quite a few times. Um, and the foster mom puffed herself up to think she's so righteous. Adrian G. Felder delusionally believes her and her kids, they delusionally believe they're better than perfect. But it seems like, you know, if you targeted, the one time somebody gets mad at you, they're mad at you forever. But you're supposed to let, let go and forget about the past and everything. And just love and forgive and keep smiling and keep going while everybody else can have a right to have like eternal grudges against you. And just judgment and just punishment and grudges and trying to take you down. Um, so I didn't even know my family was Masonic. With this mentally slow, crazy biological family, I thought we were all too retarded to be witches, too retarded to be into Freemasonry or whatever, like. Um, I know I'm with neither secret club. I don't go to any witches covens or anything like that. I don't cast spells on people. I just try to live my life. Just trying to fight for peace and quiet, but just constantly bombarded with a 24-7, 365 or 366 abuse. Um, and they pump us with, up with radiation and stuff like that. Um, so if you're a mental patient yourself, how are you going to act like you think you're better and like you're the, like, as if I'm the normal, I mean, like you're the normal person now, I'm the crazy and the same one. Um, stars 15K. Um, and stars 15K and my twin sisters, like they can, they bully me. And then it's like they can dish it out but can't take it when I strike back. Oh, you're doxing me. This and that, whatever. Well, stars. Uh, star L. Bricker. Leave me the hell alone and mind your fucking business. Mind your damn business. And, and, and you won't have to be doxed. If people say that I'm immature like her... You bully, I mean, do you call it mature to bully and follow around and stalk and harass and just keep taunting people and just fucking with people, fucking with you, fucking with you, fucking with you? And Stars 15K needs to back off. Her and Alex, they need to back off, mind their business, and leave me the fuck alone. And any other gang stalkers. I can't even just walk around this complex. Like, yesterday... Um, several gang stalkers came on the property yesterday, and I just walked around the property. I didn't even leave the property yesterday, and I caught one trespassing on this property with the vehicle, <laughs> driving a red, um, older model Dodge Durango with a red shirt, and I didn't have my phone with me. Excuse me, in that same white Dodge Ram, and that that 
black hardcore butch man dyke that I thought it was a young dude um came and every time it's like how is it every, every time I go for my little walk around this complex it's like damn I, I maybe not even want to go outside I can't even be outside with all these people swarming me like bees um and then you see the traffic right there and they got their one head like um and when I just walking circling around walking around I think I just walked around a building maybe twice yesterday I didn't even do three four or five times I after the second time I just got disgusted and went back inside and other target individuals be like girl just that's what they want they want you to go lock yourself up inside girl go live your life and just go take your walks and don't worry about them and stuff you know um but my mind was fragile and I just needed from all this what I'm going through I'm sorry um because I'm trying to um I have this wart two wart y'all can't see it but I have two warts um on my fingers um I didn't mean to accidentally do that hand sign um but I'm just trying to, this wart right here. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm not initiated and don't want to be initiated. I heard that siding with the devil ain't nothing nice. Selling your soul ain't nothing nice. I'm glad to be made aware of it. I know the truth now. Stars 15k who Alex who works with stars 15k. That's the guy who follow me around and tell me the police got you under surveillance Um, And I've done nothing wrong because The police just want to follow and harass you because if I did something if I'm guilty of a crime jail me now But no y'all just want to say I'm crazy Left eye was a targeted individual Y'all call her crazy Cause she was speaking the truth too, and they had her killed after Aaliyah. Kobe Bryant, I heard, spoke out, um, and he had to have been targeted too because some people say that he was falsely accused of raping a white girl or something like that. Um, you hear about a scandal about a celebrity. <clears throat> Maybe they try to, and, and a lot of them are forced into it from childhood. And, I mean, yeah, it's like <laughs> Candy Grand Prix is famous. I'm a celebrity because they have the paparazzi, the paparazzi following me around. You follow me around and harass me, tell me the police got me under surveillance. But y'all, the criminals who go around drinking blood, eating feces, um. Killing babies, eating babies, uh, do coffin rituals. Uh, what else? What other, y'all, y'all bend over backwards in the booty hole. Um, it's y'all who do all the same thing y'all falsely accuse us of. Um, they even falsely accuse Dean. I mean, uh, the Pharisees falsely accuse Jesus of being cr crazy and demon possessed. In the King James Bible, it said mad and half a devil. So, um, uh, all these people who are, and, and it's like, even in 2007, it's like my biological family, I felt like, what is going on? And I was so depressed and didn't leave the house and was just laying, laying in bed. Well, I've gone out and done a few things, but miserable and depressed. In Denton, Texas, for four years. I mean, I had sometimes when I would go to the library and be on the internet, um, because I've tried looking for jobs, and I think it was a bus driving job I tried to do, and I got that special disability transportation, and I and that had to have been a gang stalking situation, that they purpose the driver purposely didn't come pick me up on purpose to cause me to miss my interview, and then um. The transportation system, nothing happened to them, but they're more than glad they'll be make sure they're there right 
right then and there to take me to any mental health appointments, though. And, oh, she's just money hungry, free and load or whatever. Those, y'all, the same ones block and prevent me from getting a job. The ones who say, oh, she don't want, she, oh, she just want to stay homeless. Um, she, she just want to stay homeless because she want people to feel sympathy for her. And those are the same people who go run and tell the, uh, potential landlord, well, hey, don't, don't go rent, don't, don't rent a place to Candy because she's this, that, whatever. Uh, that's crazy that Alex admit that I'm a thief and a drug addict. Do any of y'all ever see me on drugs? So what are they going to do? You know, I don't even want to um, prophesize anything. But, you know, even my own family know I'm not a, they know I'm not a thief or a drug addict. And y'all know damn well I'm not a pedophile or a prostitute either. And y'all know damn well that I'm not a terrorist. So, um... I'm just hoping people are learning something from my videos. I'm hoping people are learning something from my videos. And I can't believe right now I sound like as if I'm lecturing. I don't lecture though. I'm just talking. And so yeah, this video, a lot of my videos have been turning out way longer than I wanted to. Because I just came to, to address something really quick. And, um, I don't, I don't want to keep, you know, looking at my twin sister's YouTube and then keep, and, and, you know, get upset and then me do like a rebuttal or response or whatever. But she has a whole pile of videos full of lies about me and she knows that they're false. She knows that they're lies and stuff. And, um, they're trying to silence me. And I mean, I wish there was some video, I, I mean, some other evidence to, I mean, if y'all can take my word on what I'm saying, that um, when I was talking earlier and they were hitting me in my heart with their energy weapons on purpose. But. Brandy, you may not know that Stars 15K is plotting my murder because she's a gang stalker. And you're afraid that if you defend me and go against her, then you'll become gang stalked too. But I think you're already being gang stalked as well. Especially during our teenage years, I think we, because there is a such thing as targeting and bullying. Like they say that gang stalking and targeting targeting individuals is bullying on steroids. Is what they call it. But the gang stalkers are involved in Satanism, witchcraft, Freemasonry, New Age, um, sorcery. I mean, I mean, well, sorcery, witchcraft, or whatever. But yeah, pharmaceutical drugs is witchcraft, and um, it's like they brain the, the system brainwashes humanity to eat junk food, which is poison, and they dump from the sky um, chemtrails onto large populations of people, and put fluoride in our water. I mean, if you want me to go take medicine. All I got to do is drink tap water, even some cheap junk bottled water. That's my medicine right there. But the med the fluoride in the medicine make you crazy. And for those of you who didn't know, um, fluoride was the compound. Oh, I forgot. It's a fluoride compound. Um, they say fluoride that's in med psych medications is the devil's poison. Um, fluoride is the devil's poison, they say. And it's in 90% in Lexapro. 90, Prozac is 94% fluoride. I was, a t I was a child 
And I was both suicidal and homicidal on Prozac. Right now, I wouldn't try. To, I'm not on those medicines. I wouldn't try to kill anybody right now. I don't know if Abilify had fluoride, but Abilify used to make my hand uncontrollably shake like this, and it used to make me want. It used to make me have urges to um want to drink bleach and jump off balconies. That sounds like. Those meds are so freaking dangerous. Wow. It's just... Well, Butrin used to make me try to drown myself. And I got more depressed. I, 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 it's 2020. There is no such thing as the right medications. The right dosage. I remember that. Oh, eavesdropping in that phone conversation with the foster mom talking to that lady, Miss Jackie, from the fake called Bible class about me. And she told Miss Jackie that she's going to put me, have the doctor. Ann must have been a handle if she can tell the doctors what medicine to put me on. If you think you got that authority. To, to control, you think you can control the doctors just like Alex thinks he can control the damn police. Tell the police what to do and how to handle me. And the police are fucking stupid. I thought the police would have more authority than us citizens. But Alex has done those fucking rituals. My, my subscribers have told me that Alex Dupree, that his eyes look soulless. They saw him on camera and said he looks soulless. But I was told I was a beautiful soul. And people tell me a lot. People are candy. People are jealous of your light. And they're full of darkness. But, you know, to be honest with myself, if I die 10 minutes from now, which I don't think I will, I don't think I will, but if I did, I think I'd be worthy of hell because of my sins. All of us have sinned and, you know, deserve hell, but I thank the Lord, I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for, sa you know, saving us and, um, so I'm trying what I can <clears throat> to endure to the end. It's hard. It's really hard. And I'm trying. It's hard to try to. um. Like one person told me, you know, try to let go of the hatred. Because um, I, 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 I need to, you know, read the Bible more. Because I there was a point in time I was reading it really heavy and praying really heavy and even doing some fasting. But that, I mean, I did the videos about the, the ladies and the spiritual trauma. Um, and a, a true Christian does not go around turning people away from Jesus and, and spiritually abusing people and stuff. But... Um, and that's why I don't like people trying to act like they're trying to spiritually fix me or stuff like that because of trauma that I've been through. I'd rather the Holy Spirit to let to guide me on when I should or me, you know, when I should fast. I don't want anybody like any human being to be like, you better make sure you're fasting. And you, you, you know, the these same people who try to, you know, narcissistic, fake hypocristians, because they got those two. They're the ones, that they're, they're not praying for me. So, I mean, if they do pray for me, they might be like, Lord, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, I just pray, Lord, 
Lord, please help Candy see the truth. Please help her see her delusions. Lord, I pray that she gets on those medications. Lord, I pray that she that she can get locked up in a mental institution and learn her lesson, Lord. Just please, Lord, anything to get her on those pills, Lord. Like, really? So, nobody's saying, you know, Father God, in Jesus' name, I pray that you help Candy with the strength to rise above her enemies and help her to not, I mean, give her the strength to not give up and put more supportive, Christ, loving Christians in her life um, and that she can be able to um, renew her mind and live according to your will, Father God, or, you know, something like that, you know, so... Um, I know I definitely need prayers right now. Um, I definitely need prayers right now, but because it seemed like, you know, I feel like it seemed like as if so many people are judging me as if they're God and shoot me down and condemn me. Um, you you can't promote natural health and psych. I mean, psych pills at the same time. And I know I'm I'm not immature, or you know, crazy or whatever. I'm just struggling to deal with my complex PTSD trauma. Me and my twin sister, we both have it. But it's like, I don't understand why um, she turned out to be like her abusers and then de defending the same people who abuse us and don't care about us. So, you know, I almost, my, my biological sister Ramona, I think that was attempted an attempted blood sacrifice February 18, 2005 before Hurricane Katrina on a Friday when she, I think she put a voodoo spell on me and caused me to wreck that Mazda 6. And creepy that the foster boy Cody died exactly 10 years later in a car accident. I don't know if he was driving, but I just heard he was 24 and died in a car accident. When I told the foster mom about that, um, she shrugged her she shrugged her shoulders and acted like she didn't care. I'm like, wow. So she really didn't care about us foster kids. It's like she was like, like, wow, just freaking wow. But then she used to use them to perp me, the foster boys, after I turned 18, she used to use them to perp me, and my twin sister was helping them to perp me, and she knows she did, that foster boy, James Joseph, I would never forget, her and her husband, um, Dwayne, were putting stuff in James' head, because I wonder how this boy see me on first sight. And they're friends with my twin sister. I mean, he's friends with my twin sister and talking nice to them and normal. But he has a certain kind of strong hatred towards me before you can even get to know who I am. So, um, I have a right to speak my truth. And I have a right to speak out against my narcissistic abuse victimization in my gang stalking victimization and my cult abuse and my mind control abuse victimization we didn't deserve this so the only way we, you, you would um, side with and defend evil is because 
you're part of that same network, part of a network, part of that same network. But they're not going to come out and admit it. Yeah, Candy, we sold our soul to the devil. Yeah, we're planning your blood sacrifice. Because, like, from 2015 on, quite a few people, I mean, random at random different times, unconnected, I mean, not connected and unrelated to each other, um, told me, your family wants you for a sacrifice. That's why you're going through what you're going through because you're the blood sacrifice of the family. And they said the scapegoat or the black sheep of the family is always the sacrifice. So, um, I don't even know. This is scary though. Um, so, I, I know they had this person, she told me she's targeted, and I think it was last week that I talked to her. I talked to her for like two or three days in a row, and she, it sounded like her and her mom were targeted, and she said that um, they poisoned, well, I don't want, well, I don't even want to talk about it, but, um, I don't hear from her anymore, and I'm scared for her. I'm scared for her, and I don't hear from her anymore. But I, I know she told she told me that she was trying to get out of Florida, and and her and her mom um took her phone took the phone away from her. And I have been praying for her as well. Because um, she was warning me saying that they, that, she, that, they, that she was dying. And that her one of her brothers was trying to become famous. And that that she over eavesdropping over her conversations that they wanted her sacrifice. That they were going to sacrifice her. And then they mocked and bragged and laughed about it. But we, we targeted individuals are not crazy. Some targeted individuals are strong enough that they say that that hey, I'm not afraid to die. I wish I could. I wish I had that strength to say that. But you know, I, I'm trying what I can to um, get right with God, and for and trying as best as I can to forsake evil. Um, trying to get back on, trying to be a stronger Christian. Um. Uh, But I'm, I mean, when if we're all targeted, and some targeted individuals act like they think they're better than others, even the ones who are going through something. So, um, I just needed to talk about this. I needed to talk about this. And, um, I just want hurting people to be liberated. I want for everybody to, to learn the truth about it's just, I mean, and I know, you know, Ephesians 6. Chapter, Ephesians chapter 6 says, you know, it's not just us, but it's we, it's like they manipulate us into thinking it's us, but it's something, um, you know, it, we, before we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against um, spirit spiritual wickedness in high in high places and you know there are some people who are militant and being willing to die for their freedom like freedom 
of freedom for, of this country. I, I mean, uh, freedom for their, you know, their rights in, in, in this country. And our leaders have sold us out. They worship Satan. They do blood sacrifices. They do all kinds of occult rituals. Some people, I feel bad for the people who are brought up in cults, Freemasonry, um, witchcraft or whatever, evil, that were brought up into it, born into it with no choice. Or, you know, have no say so. Like, when a foster child is being abused, and they run away. At, it's mainly foster kids that run away. Some biological kids do run away from their biological parents too. But it's mainly freaking foster kids who run run away. Uh, we run away. I I I tried to run away a few times. I, I tried, to, but I was scared as hell when I ran when I was um 15 years old. And I tried. <laughs> I, I I tried to run away when I was 15 years old. Running away from, trying to run away from the foster mom's abuse. But I didn't know where I was going to go, but I tried to run away. But then the police came and found me and um, brought me back. So then one time, another time later on, not that day, but a couple of months later or so. It, one time I was standing outside and... I was looking in the mirror of the foster moms that Mitsubishi Montero. I was looking in the mirror and looking at my face and stuff. And the foster mom got mad at me and falsely accused me of running away. And I'm like, how did I run away and I'm still here? But then, you know, she'll get mad and say you, you're you smart ass or disrespectful or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but she didn't treat her own kids like that. So, of course, they're not going to disrespect her. My children, I got grown children who ain't never talked about me the way you, the way you never talk to me the way you do. Never disrespect me. Never cuss me out the way you do. Well, you didn't put them on psychic medications that make them act crazy either. So, I mean, potentially, potentially normal people, <clears throat> potentially normal people, it's called like narcissistic abuse and also this systematic abuse or um with this mental health system. They profit and make money off of making you crazy when you're normal. Because they're s they don't like the truth about you. <clears throat> and so anything you do or say, oh, you're just negative. You're just negative. And I figure that people talking about negative, I think that they're programming, pro programming me with that word, negative. Because, well, I guess they already know that people calling me negative or saying I'm full of negativity or saying I'm too negative, energy draining, and complaining too much. They, I mean, I'm just crying out for help. I'm not trying to look for attention. I mean, I, mean, I w want this abuse stopped. And I feel helpless and powerless. But you're not helping me by gang stalking me and re-traumatizing me over and over again. And you're certainly not helping me getting me locked up in a mental institution. But if I die in a mental hospital or anywhere, I don't even have to go. If I die, y'all got whoever, Adrian Felder, anybody, y'all got blood on your hands. If I disappear, y'all got blood on your hands. I'm just warning y'all, forewarning y'all. Um, cause a lot of, I, I said before, a lot of targeted individuals say I'm dying. They say that they're dying or they say that they, they're after me. They're trying to kill me. Celebrities warn the same thing. Like for years, I'll be sure. I think he's a targeted individual associated with Diddy. I think he's heavily targeted. I'll be sure. Been warning people for years. Telling people that, you know, Diddy wants to have him killed. Everybody say, stay away from Diddy. Because anybody surrounded by Diddy, you will get killed. You will die. So, the way that 
Sean Diddy Combs destroys his musical artist. The rapper Loon, sad he turned Muslim. I wish he would have turned Christian, but, you know, but Loon, what, they trying to say he was crazy? Call himself Loon? But the rapper Loon, you know, they say he was able to get away and become Muslim. And I heard that Diddy even raped B5. Jermaine, why is nobody calling Jermaine Dupri out? Jermaine Dupri, you raped Chris Cross. Where is, and one of them died or got murdered. Chris Kelly. I'm standing for Raz B from B2K. Jay Boog, motherfucker. Jay Booger knows. Jay Boog was the first to publicly expose Chris Stokes on BET. I remember. He said that they were on national TV, they were raped. Then he was forced to retract, retract his statement and then said, Oh, we were financially raped. Um. And he, they were sexually raped and financially raped. And so now, Jay Boog, I'm disappointed in you that you joined the fake Jehovah's Witnesses cult. <sighs> Excuse me. You joined the fake Jehovah's Witnesses cult. And you're best friends with Chris Stokes. Shit. Strokes. I hope they do come out with the, um... Surviving Chris Stokes documentary. But we also need a surviving Sean Combs documentary. A surviving... um, We, we need a surviving Jermaine Dupree. Surviving uh, Jimmy Seville or whoever all these Satanists, these rich... I mean, surviving Hugh Hefner and surviving, you, you know, all these other um, rapist pedos in Hollywood. They're on a personal level with narcissistic abuse. You put me in the program. Um, surviving Adrian. How about we do a surviving Adrian Felder documentary? If Alex is supposedly my handler right now. Surviving Alex Dupree. Surviving IDMR. Surviving uh yeah, Surviving the Grand Prix Family, my personal documentary. Surviving West Jeff, whatever those freaking schools we went to. And I forgot to talk about the abuse that happened in New York. When I, I was trying to get my career as a Spanish translator and, you know, People mocked and laughed at me and thought I was making a fool out of myself and delusional that, oh, Candy thinks she can do this and do that. Ha ha. And then they'll tell, tell me to my face. They'll be like, you can't just go be a translator like that. You have to go to school. I was trying to go to school. You fucked me up on purpose. Set me up for failure and destruction on purpose. Even in Los Angeles. In 2011, I tried. And maybe it just wasn't meant. I have I don't want anything to do with Spanish anymore. Fuck Spanish. I don't want anything to do with Spanish anymore. So, um... I don't want anything to do with a career anymore. I'm just done. Just done. And y'all um, fried my mind. That my, I, I'm, like, I, I, I'm not even... <clears throat> like, my mind is not even... Um, my mind is... I mean, y'all destroyed my mind. Well, not, not totally, but... You know, a lot of us targeted individuals are manufactured 
about witchcraft, director energy weapons, um, food poisoning or chemical po other chemical poisoning um, that cut through people's clothes and shoes and stuff, um, break into your house, put dead animals on your um, front doorstep. But we're the crazy ones. We're the bad ones. I, I mean, I, if I would have known in 2015 that I was gang stalked and know then what I know now, and if I would have had some support, I, I think that my homelessness could have been prevented. So, um, instead of getting frustrated with or blaming the victim, to, oh, ignore, ignore, or tune them out. How about you say, stop bothering people, stop gang stalking people, stop harassing people. You don't need to do that. Your music is not important. Excuse me. Your music is not important. But you don't have the authority or right to execute judgment and punishment. You don't. That's up to God alone. But y'all are sold out paid Luciferians who think you're God and mock God. And um, Vice Handler, I even saw him mocking God and saying God is just as real as um, gang stalking and Trump's hair. So you admit that you're promoting something fake. Why are you saying um, you, you got three videos of recruiting people on how to become a gang stalker? And then you act like you have some kind of top 250 kill list that I'm on. You thought y'all must have thought y'all were going to sacrifice me in August, but I'm still here. Praise the Lord. I'm still here. I'm hypersensitive. And as I said, if, if everybody hate me and I make enemies by saying that noise bothers me and stuff, or, um, they make us hyper, whatever microchips, energy weapons or stuff or whatever, they make us hypersensitive on purpose. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm crazy. Crazy. I'm not crazy. One documentary I saw in a mental hospital, Bellevue Mental Hospital, I think it was, it was a documentary on it. And it was a lady who said that we're not crazy, but we're just hurting. And then she was accurate. I think it was a prison psych ward. And so, um, they're mad. They're more mad. That's why I, <clears throat> they don't want me to live at all. How the hell a 15-year-old a child says people treat me? I, I walk walking up the stairs moping in the hall. I mean, uh, walking up the stairs at West Jefferson High School in Harvey, Louisiana. I walk up the stairs and say people treat me like I don't deserve to live. I had my head down. I remember quite a few times. Saying that people treat me like I don't deserve to live. I was 15. No child should have to say that. Some children do die in foster care. Get murdered and it's covered up. Because it's part of the freaking Satanism. The homeless is. Looked at as the same kind of hatred as foster care. Like. We were like the throwaway kids that nobody wants. And some other foster kids act like they think they're better than me when I was in foster care. Um, so, if your child is taken away and put in foster care or you've been in foster care, there's a high chance you are, a, you are your parents or children or whatever targeted individual targeted family because some people say that they're targeted now and they say that they have their mom that was warning them or their dad that was warning them and they said that it wasn't until after their mom died after their mother had died was when they woke up and realized 
I mean, or they say that they want didn't understand. But I don't understand the biological mom Francis acting like she was perping me too. But I think she, I think she was targeted. Our biological dad, Arthur Grand Prix, was in the military. He was in the I think the army. <clears throat> and he fought in the um Korean War. And then I have to hear that, oh, authors, like, as if my family think they have the authority. And my twin sister's a victim of this, too. My family act like they think they have the authority to tell me that, I, I mean, to make it like, I don't have a right to say Arthur Grand Prix is my dad. Because they want to say Arthur... I mean, I mean you and Brandy, that y'all dad is a nappy-headed, brown-skinned, ugly um, man who was crippled up in a wheelchair with AIDS in Milwaukee. Well, um, I got a certain age and found out the, the truth. And um, <clears throat> I realized... Skin color doesn't make you better. But we were brainwashed growing up in New Orleans and colorism because they got the light skin Creoles with the pretty hair. A lot of them are narcissistic abusers. You may be light skin, but fuck you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You may be light skin with straight hair, green eyes. But my biological dad, Arthur. If that's not my father, I mean, I know the birth certificate is a little bit messed up by saying Arthur Pete Grand Prix and um, listed as our dad, but I didn't realize till after he died that his real middle name is Justine, Arthur Justine Grand Prix, but It's like, why would, we weren't told, like, we weren't told that when Arthur was alive. But our brother Arthur, Pete, is, they say Pete is his, is his nickname because his real name, my, our brother Arthur is Arthur Percy Grand Prix. And just Pete is a nickname. But they had our biological dad, um, they had our biological dad, his, um, his name, I mean, I think I remember his birthday, correct birthday or whatever. No, it wasn't his birthday. It was his age listed as 52 um, on our birth certificate. And our birth certificate says that we were born August 25th, 1983 on both me and my twin sister, our birth certificate. So the game that the mentally slow, crazy biological family wanted to play was with the foster mom, you know, w wanted me to hate Aaliyah because she hated Aaliyah because of the R. Kelly. The brainwashed news about R. Kelly. The, the foster mom acting like she just has such strong contempt for fast little girls. No, Aaliyah wasn't fast. She was under MK Ultra mind control. Not her fault. She was not a hoe. I'm defending her. So, they try to make Aaliyah like Lanika, but I'm glad she broke out, broke away. And Aaliyah started to, um, you know, have, like, self-respect, you know, have self-respect and being assertive and standing up for herself, with, you know, because she looked a certain way and men always try to hit on her or whatever. So, they try to make those ghetto, ignorant people on the gossip sites and blog sites and YouTube video comments try to make like Aaliyah was a hoe and she was fast and sleeping around or whatever. Um, she was under MK Ultra and had MK Ultra sex kitten programming like all celebrities, even the guys, like even Chris Brown. You see feline print, um, that's MK, like leopard print and stuff. Jaguar Wright. Might be an MK Ultra victim. She went through horrible, horrible abuse. I don't know that much of her life story, but I just recently was made aware of her. And Jaguar, right? But a name like Jaguar, 
her real name is Jacqueline. I heard. I read up on uh, trying to figure out who's this Jaguar Jaguar right person. So with a name like Jaguar, sounds like MK Ultra Sex Kitten programming name. Whitney Houston's alter ego or whatever was like a cougar, which you know MK Ultra Sex Kitten programming. But nobody gonna call Beyonce a hoe. She whored her way to the top. Did those rituals. Beyonce Knowles Carter. With her ugly fucking kids. They are they light skin, but they fucking ugly. Looking like Gay Z, their dad. Ugly ass kids. Yeah, I'm saying it. Satanic, Luciferian, wicked kids. <clears throat> so you know, some people say that they're glad that Aaliyah didn't sell out. And that they, I mean, they even say she's a, a beautiful soul. When she was, a, like they said, she was a beautiful soul. A lot of people say that about her too, you know. Um, but, so it's like. I just want justice for humanity. Um, I want justice for humanity. And kick Satan. Let's throw Satan out the window. Satan and his friends. Give humanity our freedom, liberty, and rights back. That were God-given. Excuse me. Take down Hollywood. Smelly weird. Helly weird. Let's end the child sacrificing, even the elderly sacrificing. End the sacrificing. Take away MK Ultra. Take away gang stalking. Take away mind control. <clears throat> um, end diseases and wars and stuff. But I know everything has to go in, you know, God's plan. But, you know, some people say, you know, Jesus is coming back soon. And don't be deceived by the Antichrist that's supposed to come first. And don't people say don't be deceived by the pre-tribulation rapture. Because um Project Blue Bean, they they have it in plan from what I heard, a fake alien invasion was supposed to happen in 2012. A fake alien invasion. And I remember hearing about that voice of God, that Project Blue Beam um, document that I saw. And the military's involved. Fuck the military. Because they're involved in gang stalking. How these mentally normal, able bodied people walking around as a disabled military vet. So, is this what happens if. You a military veteran. If you don't cave into the gang stalking or Freemason or whatever, they just leave you disabled and homeless on the streets with no help at all. You don't even get the VA military benefits, and you serve your freaking country, fought, fought, fought um for your country, and this is the thanks you get. Unless you sell your soul and become a gang stalker, then your ass is set for life. And, and you got it made. I used to be jealous and envious of material things and stuff back then. Um, but now, I was young and didn't know the truth. But now, I don't care. I'm just trying to get basically what I need to get by every day and survive. I don't care about the flashy new car, the big house. I'd be content with just um, a car that runs and uh, even a, a tiny little cottage or something, you know. And that's all I care. And, and, and so for, for, for me to live harassment free. And my fiction book that I was going to get out, what I wanted to do is help liberate
<clears throat> excuse me, help liberate um, people from cults and stuff like that. Me and my twin sister already heavenly didn't get along, but when I start telling her the truth about the Illuminati New World Order and that idea of Mars is a cult, then our relationship, the way we get along, got way worse, way worse. And in 2017, when I saw her for the first time in seven years, yeah, I was there, that video that she put up from 2017, and I was so sleep deprived, days of sleep de deprived that day. And she was trying to, you know, manipulate and tr try to trick me and stuff. Um, so it's like everybody siding with her, but you know what, as long as, as long as I know I'm innocent and God knows I'm innocent, you know, some people say that, you know, that's all that should matter. So, um, she's lying to people and saying that she did offer me a place to, cause she don't want to be attacked. She lied, she's lies to people and say that that she loves and cares about me and and they're believing and fall, falling for it um she's lying and saying that that um that she loves and cares about me and that she did offer me a place to that they're vibrating my right foot um that's that must mean shut up <laughs> but um she lied and said that she cares about me and that's what they do. They want to destroy you and lie and say it's for your own good or because they care. But that's what narcissistic abusers do. But she's a freaking narcissist and then lie and say and reverse and lie and say that everybody else is a narcissist. She put Wyatt out on Facebook in 2013 or something or 2014. I think it was 2014. And she put a gun. I mean, she pulled a gun out on him and filmed that. I, I mean, I wasn't there and I didn't see the video, but she told, called me up crying to, crying about it and, and was all scared and shaken up about it and stuff. And, you know, she said that, I mean, she, she lies in stages and then retracts her statement and then tell you the truth and then go back to lying again. So, I mean... And Ramona and Mark and them, they just flat out fucking lie with a deceitful looking smile on their face. Like, um, and, and they're threat. It's like everybody feels threatened now. Even Lanika's threat feels threatened now. Oh, don't listen to her. Believe me. Like, you can tell she's panicking. Oh, no. You know, because I'm exposing all y'all. Monica, you know you freaking sold out, and you know you're a Masonic hoe. You know you are a Masonic slut. Thought. And, and you just said, <laughs> that narcissistic, over-exaggerated, forced, fake laugh. <laughs> and she does her lip song like, <laughs> whatever. Um, but it's your, more your mom's stank Cheryl's fault. <clears throat> she is, you know, she the one who did this to you, sold you out, pimped you out to the devil. One lady who turned out to be a fake T.I. perp, though, told me that Mr. Freddy sounded like as if he's a chief handler, another kind of chief handler. I would see that's why the false alarm kept everything secret from us. Those Masonic satanic secrets you got, Adrian Felder. <clears throat> What's up with that? That you got connections like that, that you protected by the law. The Kraft family's protected by the law. Anything dirty that they do, they I mean, the law got their back. The police, fake ass Masonic, Satanic, Gretna police. Brandy, you've been freaking violated by that police, Gretna police officer T. Weta. You remember him? 
But sometimes they said that the police were gangs. Well, they didn't use the word gang stalk, but kind of think of it. Yeah, gang stalk. They were harassing, do Gretna police were harassing, do stuff to my twin sister, thinking it was me. Because I was 18. Me, me and my twin sister were like 18 or 19. Brandy didn't go to jail, but the foster mom. <laughs> And that's how they laugh and fake Gretna in New Orleans. Ignorant Project Ghetto New Orleans, baby. The foster mom. <laughs> oh, Lord, I was too tickled. <laughs> She's the foster mom said that. Um, She said that the police detained Brandy. Because they thought it was candy running away. And then realized we were of age and over 18. If Mark was oppressed by the foster care system, why does he hate me more than Anne? Why does everybody hate me more than Adrian Felder, who they call Anne? Why do they hate me more than her if she was the chief abuser? And Joni Lejeune Felder, Lejeune Marquise Felder, Joni, the dumb ho Joni, she still freaking hate me all these years. Her brother James, the, a different James, still hate me all these years. <laughs> Other foster and biological family hate me all these years and look down on me like they think they're better or something. Hell face Shelly was definitely a perp. <clears throat> oh, yeah! With that high ass voice. People used to say Shelly looks Chinese. <laughs> Excuse me. They say Shelly looks Chinese. Greedy Dykes Brian, you narcissistic abuser. Greedy for control. I hate you, Brian. You brag about beating children. Let's... Get the foster mom and Brian and Shelly and Joe and April and all them and any other abusive fake foster family member physically abuse and beat and torture kids. And all my t my kindergarten teachers who used to lock me up in the, in the kindergarten, in the closet in kindergarten and then try to say it's for bad behavior. I'm not having a freaking mental breakdown. I'm not crazy. I'm not on drugs. I'm doing nothing but just speaking the truth. And I have a right. Freedom of speech. Let's go after Bill Gates for creating a fake disease, wanting to kill off over 90% of the popul world population, and you have time to hate Candy Grand Prix and other targeted individuals. Y'all love Bill Gates more than you love real targeted individuals who are suffering and who are innocent and done nothing wrong. I mean, nobody's going after Wyatt. Wyatt called me up years, a few years ago and tell me about this freaking serial killer who's after him. Wyatt, are you a targeted individual? Nah, because you perked me too. Dirty Wanda, you perked me, you gang stalk, you perked me too. Well, I mean, I ain't been in contact with the family in a while, but they, they're all full of secrets and games. Um, and stuff like that and being like severely traumatized does not mean that you're immature I heard there's a such thing as infantilization of the disabled and infant like the foster mom was trying to keep me as a child when I was an adult and you know that controlling that I'm in a different city and state and you want the people in New York at that mental health shelter to stalk and spy on me and then report everything back to you. I'll never go live in New York City again. They're so cutthroat and cruel. I mean, their hearts are colder than Los Angeles. And Los Angeles people are just a certain kind of distinct kind of fucked up. I don't even want to go and live in Miami, even though it's farther south. But I don't, I don't, oh, I don't, I'll go visit again, but never want to go and live in Miami, ever. I don't like, nah.
I don't want to live in Miami. Maybe the outskirts, but not main main uh, Miami. Um, Orlando, I, I'm I'm open. I'll go live in Orlando. It doesn't seem too bad in Orlando. Um, never want to go and live in Texas. Any area, never want to go to Texas again, ever. Never want to set foot in Texas again, ever. I don't want to live in New Mexico, but it's, uh, yeah, anything west of Louisiana, I don't want to go back. Uh, I hate um, taking a Greyhound going those going west um the well, I hate taking a greyhound period and I heard they gang stalk heavy yeah they had their skits and weird stuff and abuse and stuff and being abused by gay hound I mean uh yeah I might as well call it gay hound I, I that accident accidentally slipped I was trying to say greyhound bus drivers even as far back as 2003 that um, a stranger must have been a perp, a meddlesome, narcissistic, racist perp on a great, and that's good for him because his ass got thrown off the bus. <laughs> the bus driver must have heard this conversation because he tried to bully out of randomly out of nowhere, try to bully, harass, and lecture me, telling me that if you go leave somewhere and your mom, talking about the foster mom, doesn't know where you're at, then that means you ran away. And a few other people, so I'm like, how the fuck am I going to run away and I'm over 18? I'm an adult. And the like the biological gay brother Mark, it was before we turned nine, just before we turned nine. And I think it was July 31st, uh, 1992. Or somewhere around there, I was a little child, like eight going on nine years old. And the biological bro gay brother, Mark, the foster mom was livid when Mark ran away. Mark was 18 and went to go live back by the biological family. And sometimes I wonder if the foster, and biologi the foster mom and biological family are secretly friends behind closed doors and just put on a charade like like as if they hate us. Um, so it's basically, we were abused so badly in foster care. And my twin sister told me that Joe started, the reason why Joe started beating on us after we turned nine years old, because I didn't even know about this, but she told me that Mark and Joe got, got into an all out fist fight and then Mark supposedly beat him up. And Mark is gay, but Mark supposedly beat Joe up. And then after that, you know, then Joe started beating on us. But Joe was uh, beating on his wife, Melinda, and didn't care. She was beat. He was, you know, beating on her while she was pregnant with Julian. Julian Paul modelist, punk ass Juju, who they, um, the, foster, the fake foster family turned him against me, too. I mean, when Julian was 12 years old, in 2006, Juju used to love me. But then they poisoned his head, too. <clears throat> so, I mean, Juju used to hate us when we were little. He was two years old, bossy, but he was just a baby. He was just, So, I give him a free pass on that one. But, you know, they brainwashed Julian against us, too. And so, they clearly hate us and don't want us around. So why are you going to take sides with and defend somebody who doesn't want you around and don't like you? Um, and I didn't even realize the agenda. Um, for what it is, you know, and even in 2015, I knew a lot of truth, but still, I'm still got more to learn. I know we can't know everything. But I'm pretty sure there's some information out there about truth about some things that I'm like, wow, I didn't was never come across this. Like last year I was awakened to the celebrities being transgender, like celebrities being trannies, and um I was fully awakened to my targeting and awakened to cloning. Well, I heard a little bit about cloning cloning back then, but I even uh, shut that down and I'm like well wow the cloning is really real you know um 
I didn't want to believe the cloning was real, but now I, I realize it, and I have to accept that the cloning is freaking real. Cloning, and they kill you and clone you off. I mean, they kill you off and then clone you. And um, what really didn't sit well with me, the fact that they put aborted fetal cells in our food and then McDonald's serves people human meat. And that's why people get sick and throw up, vomit, you know. Something was wrong. Like as if they put a certain kind of drug or a certain kind of witchcraft spell on me in 2018. That McDonald's was addictive enough that make, made me feel like I was going to go crazy if I didn't have it. So I'm glad that I broke that spell of McDonald's. Won't eat there anymore. Plus the Employees are rude there anyway. I don't eat fake Donalds. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't eat mainstream fast food. I, I, I don't even eat Whataburger anymore. Um, But Red Robin is more like a burger restaurant. But I ate there a few times this year. Or like maybe about two or three times this year. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I mean, if I'm eating a burrito from Taco Bell all the time, it's not good for my health. Um, Taco Bell ain't good for my heart or my health. Stuff like that, it's a lot of sodium, bad sodium. Um, so... Sometimes it seems like you're cornered or forced into eating the bad foods um, in emergency situations and stuff like that, um, or financial constraints. I, I guess that's the right word, you know, financial restrictions and stuff, where you're left with no choice but to go and buy that 99 cent burrito from Taco Bell. But, um, the homeless shelters, like one time, it was, I went only one time in New Orleans, that Ozanam Inn, for the men, this is what they serve, a sugary muffin, plus Fruit Loop cereal, and something else sweet, and I'm like, they don't give a fuck about the damn homeless that, and I even questioned that in 2011 at Union Rescue Mission, se Separation Torture Mission, I said, why all y'all feed people is stale old pork and corn? And they had this girl named Ashley that was in that mental health shelter called New Image Fresh Start that's now shut down. She looked at this big, long, fat, huge hot dog weenie. She took the fork and picked it up. And she told me, she's like, this looks so wrong. And, you know, it was like a big ass, I never in my life seen such big hot dog wieners before. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can make them big, but it was very big. And they, it's like in these homeless shelters, you pay, to, it's like you paying to live in prison. Some homeless people who have been in prison before. They are traumatized, can't go back to a shelter because it reminds them too much of prison. And they criminalize homelessness and ho they don't care about homeless. Homeless people, um, I heard that homeless people, homeless targeted people like me are the type that they come in white van and pick you up and have you disappear. And then they serve you as meat for McDonald's customers. I didn't know I didn't know how I can live my, with myself finding out that information, but I survived it. That they have us cannibalizing without us realizing it.
anybody who would eat McDonald's and, and and I mean I try to be I try as best as I can to be careful and read ingredients um natural flavors human embryonic kidney cells I was like what I could I mean aborted fetal cells in our food certain bottles of water vaccines the elites are just fucking this world up it's beyond comprehension what they're doing and you target me as the criminal people like bill gates anthony fauci um Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, all these elites, presidents, pu elites and puppets, y'all the ones who should be targeting individuals. Y'all should be the targeted individuals. Not people like Myron May, Aaron Alexis. Some other people, I don't remember all their names. What was his name? Phil Leak, who died, was a targeted individual. I didn't know the agenda back then. But it's like, they're counting on you to kill yourself. Counting on it so that they can get paid. So they're mad because you find out the truth and you start speaking out and they call you crazy. And I think, I really think that my twin sister, um, I really think that she's just blind to what's really going on. The real thing here. And after I'm dead, after Candy Grand Prix is dead. That's when the family will wake up and realize that they were brainwashed. I can see Ramona be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize all that about Kenny. Yeah. Or people like Ramona probably, you know, wouldn't know how to live with herself. Because what fucking sister? Yeah, I mean... I was young and hateful back then, but didn't realize the foster mom taught us that, brainwashed us. They do this in part, part of the foster care system. They do this. They do this. Turn, deliberately turn you against your own family or turn your family against you. I mean, me and my twin sister should be sticking together. Because we both know that we've been oppressed by the biological family and foster family. And the craft family, too. And the fake IDMR cult. Fake Jennifer Gugis Edwards. Fake bitch. All oh, y'all. Miss Lois wasn't all that bad. Miss Lois Carney. But the foster mom was, you know, using her fake friends against us. People who just freaking hate you as a child based on the stuff and Adrian Feld, who they call and put in in their heads candy grand prix is a celebrity candy grand prix is famous i guess i'm infamous because i'm the bad kind of famous i thought no that's their way of gaslighting you by trying to make like everybody ignores you and nobody cares about you but they're watching but for nefarious purposes for sinister reasons um 
I'm being watched. 24-7 watch list. It's terrorist watch list. I don't even care about bombs and guns. I don't want to shoot nobody. I don't want to shoot nobody. I don't want to. I'm not thinking about bombing up movie theaters and schools and stuff. I don't even have those weapons, and neither do I care to have them. All I'm trying to do is just, you know, I didn't ask to be here on the face of this earth. I'm just trying to freaking survive. I'm trying to survive. And hopefully, you know, trying to get right with God. I know my mouth is potty. I shouldn't do it. I'm frustrated right now. There's no excuse. I know. Um, but a lot of us frustrated and want this targeting program to end, want this evil to end. That... You, you know, um, we real targeted individuals aren't allowed to speak on our gang stalking and they want to silence us. And that's why the fake paid T.I. perps be like, shut up and stop doing your videos and shut down your YouTube channel and you're feeding them your energy and this and that. Y'all freaking paid to say that. And they try to be like, well, you make the talk, you make the T.I. community look bad and. You're making a buffoon out of a... Just leave me alone. Like, Stars 15K and, um... You know exactly what the hell you're doing. You're a woman who's obsessed with another strange woman who you've never met face to face. You never met me face to face. If you say you're retired or over, you've been married for over 40 years. So if you're dying of cancer for real, star. If you're dying, if you are, if you, you do have cancer. Why spend the, why spend the last days of your life gang stalking people? Why aren't you, and then you talk like you know the word of God. Why spend the last years of your life gang stalking people? Why not? Um, why aren't you spending your last days trying to get right with the Lord? Trying to get right with God? Um, get on the side of Jesus? No, you'd rather side with Satan and use the Bible to manipulate for your own, um, to your own agenda, to your own sinister agenda. So I saw she harassed one other targeted individual on Twitter. But I'm the main one she invite and inv invest so much time in. I at least saw Alex harass those military kids. Trying to flirt at the military kids. And one of them looked at me and, and um said that um you know that he made them feel really uncomfortable by Alex was trying to flirt at a freaking 18, a guy, I don't know if he was eight, 17 or 18, but he was very young, and Alex was trying to flirt at that young kid, but Alex, I saw Alex gang stalk me, he didn't tell me anything, but I saw him, he gang stalked me at um, Waffle House on Christmas of last year, and he deliberately on, on, on purpose put all his bags, like, and put, he, he deliberately and on purpose put all his, I mean, all his belongings, like, he wanted everybody to see all the contents of what he was in his bag, and he had a freaking real estate, um, a real estate book or something like that, um, and then they had that creepy young kid who, who, who is just, he, I don't even know, I mean, I can tell he's freaking demon demonized or, or whatever. Um, that he never really tells me anything, but he's there at Bodacious every time I go. Every time. That young ass white kid. And his if you see his eyes, his eyes look like that mugshot picture of James Holmes. Um, 
and that guy, you know, he wants to be seen. And then they had that that black guy who freaking follows me around too, like mainly on the bus and stuff. And then they had the white lady who drives around in a black Buick Envision who would follow me around all the time. I have several videos of her. And they had the person with the blue, um, with the black Buick Envision, that lady, the lady that drives that car, SUV. Um, I filmed her and called her a gang stalker in front of her face. She still won't leave me alone. But the person in the blue Mitsubishi SUV that would drive around with, she would gang stalk and she would act erratic and then drive around with, um, with her, um, flashers, like her emergency flashers on. I said, gang stalker. And then she, like, when you, when somebody's driving and, and they have the one headlight, a funny headlight, like they slam on the brakes and get really scared and shot like, <gasps> Like when you've been like, but when I stick my middle finger up at every every one hair like that, I stop doing that. You know, it doesn't phase them, but it get really gets them. You know, when I say gang stalker, and they're like, <gasps> and then I never saw that blue Mitsubishi um, SUV. I never saw it again. So sometimes it works. So I mean, even other people, if they might be following me around at the mall. Sometimes filming them doesn't do any good. So if I'd be like, gang stalker! <gasps> you know, like, they'd be about to faint. So, I mean, I guess I had to learn some ways to hit them where it hurts when you're fucking with me for no damn reason at all. Maybe I sh next time I see the biological sister Ramona, I might be like, <gasps> Gang Stalker! <laughs> Nobody no fucking She would really lash out if, if I. <gasps> gang Stalker! I call Alex a Gang Stalker to his face. Oh, I ain't nobody Gang Stalking you. I'm telling you something. Place got you under surveillance. Did you call me a faggot the other day? Bitch, shut up. Alex is the one who tried to get me to cave in and sell my soul and become a gang stalker. And I won't do it. I'd rather die for Jesus than a gang stalk for Satan. So I'm like, all oh, this freaking harassment because that's why I was warning. Like, this is, they want our, we're in the end times, y'all. And they want our souls. And some targeted individuals are, I mean, one targeted individual saying that they want you to sell her. I'm like, no way. Nobody pays attention to me or, or people hate me so much, you know. But yes, this is real. Vice Handler um, and Alex Dupree, they want me to sell my soul to the devil. And now Alex harasses me even more. Um... He harasses me even more because I turned down his offer. I have screenshots of him trying to text me through YouTube and say, quit blocking me. I'm trying to work out a deal with you. And then next thing you know, I hear about this person calls himself Sergeant Stalker and say, you know, trying to tell me he's Alex's cousin and, you know, trying to I mean, and then they have some people act like they want me to join the Illuminati and the Freemasonry or whatever. Um, I'm glad to know what I know now because I would have probably would have been young and dumb and did it with blindly and not knowing. Um, because the fake IDMR cult is dangerous because they'll try to tell you that witchcraft and sorcery and all that is um, <clears throat> current, super, current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. They try to make it like as if witchcraft is, you know, not real and voodoo or whatever is not real. But I saw that um, post that my twin sister, when my twin sister lied on me and said that I took Raven's umbilical cord for voodoo rituals. I didn't even get to see Raven that day and I wouldn't have done anything like that. I'm not evil to harm a child. I mean, 
So, I mean, back then I was a child, but I might punch a child or whatever, but snatch a baby, a newborn baby, umbilical cord. I would never do that. As an adult, no, I would never do that. And I didn't even get to see Raven that day. But my twin sister told, she told somebody that the foster mom said, let me tell you something, voodoo is real. Of course, Adrian. Of course, Anne. You know voodoo is real because you do it. A lot of people say the foster mom had all those African masks on her wall and stuff. And all those statues, Egyptian and African statues in her house. The foster mom was doing rituals. I don't know what she did, but why would she be gone all day, go somewhere, and then come back and disguise it with a whole bunch of groceries? Motherfucker, we know what you were doing. Well, I know what you were doing. So... I mean, me exposing what other people know or what they've told me. That's why they never wanted us in their business. Because you, you got something to hide. But I don't see a psychiatrist and take meds anymore. And other than this gang stalking, I'm doing just fine. But I can show y'all that link again to that meme that says, Daddy, what do you do for a living? I'm a gang stalker, honey. I torture people electronically in hopes that they'll commit suicide. And yes, people are doing this to their own families. Even if it's not family, people are doing this to people. But guess what? Y'all gonna go down to y'all day is coming. And Joe must have had to been involved in a cult and weird stuff too. I can picture Joe Joseph Paul Modelist Jr. The foster mom married a man who was part of the music group, the second husband was part of the music group, the Funky Meters, who Grammy nom Grammy winners or something like that. They won Grammys. So, but then if, if I talk about my favorite celebrities back then, oh, shut up, that's a whole bunch of bullshit, whatever, you know. So, the foster mom was punishing me from watching TV or listening to my favorite songs. Well, lady, guess what? You did me a favor. Because, um... I didn't watch much TV growing up anyway. You can ask my twin sister. I used to be locked up in a room a lot, reading books and stuff like that, um, or writing short stories or writing certain things and maybe journaling or studying um, my schoolwork or whatever. <clears throat> I was in my room a lot, isolated. And the foster sister, Shelly, and the foster stepdad used to, Ask me, uh, why do I isolate and stay in my room? To stay away from y'all abuse. So you wouldn't, it's like they wanted me out of my room so that they can perp me and bully, harass, and laugh at me. Um, why are you so anti-sociable? You don't care about me anyway. You wouldn't want me to sit down and hold a conversation with you anyway. But now, last time, a couple of times I tried to see Shelly, she treated me like as if my presence wasn't welcome. And then, um, you know, had this jealous ass look. Shelly is another one. She liked to meddle in other people's business and create nothing but lies on people. And the 39 year old tattletale. Well, she ain't 39 no more, but she was 39 in 2006. And they would stalk and spy on all my internet activity and then use it against me and throw it in my face. And then that's why they let me use their internet service so that they can stalk and spy on everything I do and then use it against me and throw it in my face. Well, the foster mom never told me the police got you under surveillance, but I can picture her saying something like that. 
If I'm a criminal, lock me up in prison. But you have to prove it in a court of law. But they want to make all these lies and false accusations against me. But it's okay, though. Thanks for listening. And I said before, if I disappear, you don't hear it from me for a while. I'm either locked up in a mental institution or dead against my will. I'm just forewarning y'all. Hoping it never happens. I'm hoping that they're just threatening and talking shit. Bye-bye.